Don't think about the kiss. Don't think about the kiss. Think about the kiss. Think about the kiss. Hey, babe. Oh, God, he's hot. <laughs> Gonna be Paul Bunyan. Just <laughs> Paul Bunyan. Perfect. We've got him. Blonde haired lolly extraordinaire. <laughs> that's me. That's that's Paul Bunyan. You're not a blonde lolly. Not yet. Go oh, who you wouldn't choose blonde. Yeah, you're right. No, we don't. Look at the direction he's walking. He's going back to work. So he's already met with his supplier? I'm afraid so. Damn it. So what do we do? There's nothing we can do. We'll have to come back earlier another day. R really? Right, so. They have to spend more time with me after all. Yay. Oh, I'm not that bad. Come on, babe. I'll give you a lift back to work. Uh, I'd rather walk, actually. I still get paid either way. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, uh, that was a waste of time. Perfect timing, Max. Go grab your gun. We're about to move. Why? What's going on? We just got the search warrant for the cathedral out of transportation. You're kidding. Nope. Get in the car. We're conducting a raid. We have a search warrant. We can just go up there and be like, we have a search warrant. Let us search your place. And what if there's 50 gang members that are working there? Well, you don't have to conduct a raid to do that. You just go, you bring like a backup expecting car. Expecting like... there to be like 50 gang members working there, Coke. Mm -hmm. They well, we did that last time we fought them off with the zappy guns and the. And we with told them two to eat this. people. A lot of them got away. They didn't there get to arrest a whole eight. lot of them. They ha got to have alibis, and the Lacostro company actually got to go away scot-free and get compensated instead, because we weren't able to pin anything between the two. Mm -hmm. Now we are going in Blitzkrieg style, and we're going to get them all, and it's going to be awesome, and we're going we're to going have in. Zeppelins. <laughs> Sorry, I went to got a little German there. <laughs> Zeppelins. About damn time. Run me through the details on the way over there. To the car! Right, Mobile. <laughs> so you know how it was suspicious as fuck that we kept finding all these Minex shipments on the Cathro transportation property. I was willing to overlook it as a coincidence with the bus depot. Criminals hijack legitimate businesses all the time. But now the train station too? And Ethan told me he saw a green marble down at the docks, and LaCastro owns a massive cruise line, too. It's super shady, and it's time we took action. I know there's a con connection there. Here, ah, uh, where it's... The LaCastro are up to no good. No argument there. It's been bugging me for days. Mm. So what are we looking for? Minix? Drug paraphernalia? <laughs> Paraphernalia. <laughs> I doubt we'll find Minex in their offices, but I want to search every filing cabinet in there. I want financial reports, airfare bookings, staff annual leave summaries, the whole lot. Can't you just, like, run an audit on them then? Wouldn't that be a lot more straightforward? And if their only stuff is paperback and they decide to use a lighter to burn it up? And then they have plausible deniability deniability that they're uh, not involved with anything. You can't pull that kind of shit against the IRS. They'll find you. It's a good thing this is Australia and they're all criminals, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's right. The IRS doesn't exist in Australia, damn it. <laughs> then how are they going to catch Batman? Uh, you don't catch Batman. But he's a bad man. They can't even catch Yoshi. You think they can catch Batman? <laughs> You're right. 
We need to find any evidence of unlawful cash flow. And the more documents we see, the stronger case we can make. Fidel cash flow. So, what's our plan of attack? Waltz in there, show our badges, and raid the place? The two of us will come in via the front and brief all of the staff on the conditions of the warrant. While we're doing that, Holly and Ember will be entering via the staff entrance and obtaining access to their records before they have a chance to destroy anything. Okay. Yeah, Hear me out here. Before we go into the building, I bet... Uh, two scenarios. Either A, Amber accidentally burns half the shit with her fire. Or B, Holly's new cat ears and shit distract her somehow and she just fucks the entire thing up. C, Max lightnings them all and they all die. That's your bet. B, Brad gets a call from, uh, uh, what's her face? The fucking coffee shrine. And has to go work there. <laughs> so he has Brad, to stop. Brad has to go work in the middle of the raid. <laughs> uh, I choose E, all of the above. No, uh, option E is Captain Eckerai comes in and disco balls. All of them, including his own officers. <laughs> <laughs> including himself. No. Captain Necrae has arranged for 20 patrol officers to assist us with this investigation. And they'll have the place they'll have the place surrounded in under 15 minutes. No one is getting in or out. Unless they use the secret underground tunnels. Ah, but that's why we got the mole people on our side. The mole people. We paint them off with Furbies. <laughs> what? I don't know. They are addicted Why to them Furbies? for some reason. I don't know. They're addicted to them for some reason. They like to like throw it in water and see if it'll come back to life. But no, that's not how it works. And they like that's to shave like them. Some other fucking cursed artifact. The gas transportation is the second building on the left here. Have your gun ready and get ready to move. We don't know how things are going to go down once we storm the place. Do we only Let's have like... Do we only have, like, shock shotguns or shock pistols? We've got... I think we have shock pistols. I think Brad's got a zappy pistol. Maybe. Did we see it, though? I think so. I don't I know don't... why we're locking, lock, locking and loading. It's, it's, it's electric. You have it's to lock zap. and load the battery? Because it uses all That's the energy lame. at once, and then you have to exchange the battery. <laughs> well, you or... just load up double A's in there. Evelyn LeCastro. Who the fuck was this lady? She was in, like, the second episode. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you're saying my name wrong. It's pronounced Evelyn. With an emphasis on the evil. <laughs> well, that's not damning evidence or anything. That's that's not a really bad story device. <laughs> Evelyn LeCastro, your business is currently under investigation by Axon City Police Department. We have a warrant to search your place of business under suspicion of links to the illegal minix trade in the city. Then she turns All staff console. are to remain in the building while we conduct a thorough investigation of your financial records. Do you understand the conditions of the warrant? <laughs> oh, okay, Evelyn. She just said that. <laughs> She's a robot. <laughs> you don't need a warrant. Lucky we have one. I'm legally entitled to see that warrant. Hand it over. <laughs> We're going to give it to her and she's just going to rip it up. Oh, wow. It's not like we have triple kit. Of course. As you can see, everything is in order. And as such, we will begin our investigation. If you'd like to take a seat, we'd also like to ask you a few questions as well. Ellipses pronounced. Miss LeCastro. Quiet. I am reading, peasant. Now, Miss LeCastro, I need you to move aside and stay within the premises while we conduct our investigation. If you cooperate with us, it will all go a lot smoother. 
and we can get out of your hair sooner rather than later. I'm afraid that's not going to happen, my dear. There's nothing you can argue about. We have a warrant. Sit down and let us do our job. I need to make a phone call. One moment. Hello, my name is Evil Link Le Castro, and I'd like to speak to the police commissioner. The police commissioner? No, I can't hold. Put me directly through to him right this second. Huh, this hold music is really catchy. I might have to get this track for the office. <laughs> Hello, it's Evelyn. I take it you've heard about the warrant. Exactly, that's what I thought. I'll let the officers know. Goodbye. You're not going to be conducting an investigation today. Your warrant has been appealed. I don't believe you. Max. Not now, Brad. You need to sp speak to the police captain. She's actually right about this. No fucking way. Max. What the hell is going on here? We've got her right where we want her, and now we're being shut down? This is unbelievable! I know, I know. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Believe me. Yeah. A warrant has been shut down. Yeah. Uh, what? How did that happen so quickly? We only just got there. Sorry, Max, but it's out of my hands. Yeah. Is Pandorai in on this? Evelyn just spoke to him directly, and then suddenly we're shut down? He's a filthy criminal and he's running the Minix trade in this city. Pandora is a lot of things, but he's not a criminal. Yeah. He is a panda, though. Even the Castro has been keeping in touch with the police department over the past few weeks, and she'd already spoken to several high-ranking officials about us. The possibilities of a search warrant. What? And she was ready for us. Wait, what? Where? I don't... What? Okay, no. I don't know, I just like lost the place where I was like, I has been it kidnapping, up. Uh, keeping in touch with the police department over the past few weeks, and she'd, and she'd already, already spoken spoke to several high-ranking officials about the possibility of a search warrant. She, she was, was ready for us, and Pandrai had no choice. Yeah. Uh, how, how did he have no choice? I really should have caught this. But it looks like a trainee judge screwed up when he reviewed our warrant. In order to search her premises, we need evidence that her business was involved in drug trafficking. And currently, we have none. But we do have evidence. Minix was found on her train and their buses. I know, I know. But as of right now, all we can prove is that the criminals were using public transport to move drugs throughout the city. There isn't anything to link it to the company itself, Nyah. If we'd arrested one of their employees, then it'd be a different story. But we can't raid their premises based on a hunch. Yeah. That's absolute bullshit, and you know it. I know, I know. Victoria's been working like mad over here. But every single employee is coming up clean for drug crimes. It's frustrating, but at the end of the day, we have to follow protocol. Yeah. You're gonna have to come back here for now until we can find more evidence. I'm sorry, Max. Yeah. Gah. Gah. <laughs> I just thought of a dumb dumb thing. What? So, the drug is called Minex, right? Mm hmm And then we have these ancient artifact balls that do stuff, right? Yeah. Our protagonist is called Max and touched one of these balls. Mm-hmm. Now there shall be deemed as Max X. Min X, Max X. It's the perfect crime. Oh no. Well, have you found my ellipse? It appears you were correct, Miss LeCastro. We'll be taking our lead. Are you blushing? I don't know. 
Why do people? Why single. do they just decide to let people blush for whatever fucking reason? I don't know. Cause she thinks Max is hot. <laughs> she's like, oh jeez, that police officer. She's like, cute. Right? But I need to keep my composure so my crimes don't get discovered. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, and don't get the wrong idea. I'm more than happy to cooperate with the police department. But we have confidential records in regards to our clients that I don't want to disclose to a group of half a dozen police officers. That's how leaks happen, and the consequences would be devastating for my business. If you're interested in seeing our financial reports, I'll have one of my secretaries prepare a summary for you and have it delivered to your office by this afternoon. Yeah, because that would be doctored or anything. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Run along now. I went through like three fucking accents with her. That's... Her name is fucking Evelyn! That's as evil as it gets! And what the hell is going on with her neck? She looks like a freaky snake person. <laughs> Why what? Gah! You shouldn't rant while you're eating. You'll choke on your sausage roll. Yeah, I'd rather be choking on your sausage bread. No, Goku. I don't care, I need to vent. Meh. Goku, no. <laughs> We're not boning <laughs> bread. We don't bone dudes unless it's with... Uh... It's just Dan. a bro job. Unless it's with Dan. We only bone dudes with Dan. It's just a bro job. No, Goku. That's We're doing called, him a favor. That's called straight sex, Goku. We don't have straight <laughs> sex. Only lesbian sex. Unless it's Dan. Dan can have straight what if, sex. Yeah. What if Brad was turned into a girl? Into a fox girl? Then? What about then? If Brad was turned into a fox girl, he would rather shoot himself than do anything else. Shit, you right. <laughs> Then stop eating for five seconds. No. Why did Panda I call off our raid? I knew that Bogan was evil. Pandas are always evil. I bet they eat people when no one's looking. They're not her herbivorous bamboo eating animals at all. Well, yeah, pandas are literally carnivores. They don't have the actual uh, digestive system to process plant life. Which is why they eat so much bamboo. Because they barely get anything from it. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, pandas are actual carnivores. They don't... They, they poorly survive off of uh, bamboo. I don't think he's evil, Max. He was just following protocol. He's the police commissioner. He sets the rules, he can change them if he wants to. Yeah, and if he really was evil, do you think that he wouldn't be changing them for his own benefit then, Max? If that was true, it's a good thing it's not, because if he was evil, then you'd be fucked. Literally. Oh no. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. I'm just as frustrated about this as you are, but we have to follow protocol. Seriously, how the hell is there no evidence linking them to Minex? We keep finding it in their company vehicles. How many taxis, buses, and trains in Axon City are owned by LaCastro Transportation? All of them. They control about 80% of the market. How many cities are they based in? Just one, Axon City. They're a local company. And how many cities has Minex spread to? As far as we can tell, Minix hasn't left Axon City yet. It's only a matter of time until it's widespread. But as of now, it's contained here. See, that's the connection right there. The Minix problem is so bad here because the Castro Transportation are acting as a distribution system. That's how they're able to move it around so efficiently. That's a good theory, and I think you're right. But at the moment, it's just conjecture. Your mom's a conjecture. I know <laughs> LaCastro and Pandrai are behind this, and I'm going to prove it. 
And how are you going to do that, Max? Uh, I don't know. Ethan! Ethan! I need you! I'm stuck as a chick for some mysterious purpose, and my only chance of finding a way to turn back is being withheld from me by some bogan with panda ears for no reason at all. I'm buying another sausage roll. All this rampant corruption has made me hungry. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. I think you were probably just hungry anyway. It seemed like an awfully elaborate story, if you ask me. Are you sure you didn't just get a sex change because you wanted one and then decided to make this whole thing up? So you didn't have to admit your inner womanly desires to anyone else. That's not what happened at all. I didn't want to turn into a chick. 